What's going on guys? It's Dan back with yet again another video. I apologize for the long pause. There's been some stuff that I've been working on creatively that's not dealing with YouTube, but don't worry, I'm still making videos. Before we get into the video, if you could do all that fun stuff, subscribe, like the video, watch some other videos, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, it's linked down below. That would be great. Now, on to the video. So because it's December, I'm doing a holiday themed movie. And today's movie, we are going to be doing Home Alone. I think it's one of the best, if not one of the only holiday movies that have like really good outfits. And let's just get into it. Home Alone was made in 1990 and was directed by Chris Columbus. And the costume designer was Jay Hurley. Now, Jay Hurley hasn't really done that much in the industry. He just basically did like Home Alone and Home Alone 2 for the most part. But for those movies, he knocked it out of the park. Now let's get on to the overview. So for the overview, it is after being accidentally left at home alone while his family goes to Paris, Kevin McAllister gets to live his life however he desires in his newly vacant home. That is until he realizes that the wet bandits are trying to rob his house and most likely bring harm to him. The movie is great for some like late 80s to very early 90s fashion but we're gonna be only focusing on three people in the movie, Kevin and Marv and Harry from The Wet Bandits. So for Kevin, who's played by Macaulay Culkin, he's got a few outfits that I really love, and a lot of them are pretty festive and actually, in my opinion, good for like a Christmas party if you have to go to, but you don't like dressing up that much. So for outfit number one, he Kevin's seen wearing a cream knitted sweater with some dusty olive straight leg chinos with some really fun seam detailing and when you cuff up the pants you get this nice cool camo fabric. And then for shoes he's wearing these brown leather boots which he's seen wearing throughout the whole movie. And for his outerwear piece in the movie he wears this brown hooded puffer jacket with like these cargo pockets that are all over and a flannel line hood that has a zipper down the middle that you can unzip so you can show off some nice color. I think this outfit's really strong. I love the cream, like semi roomy, oversized knitted sweater with those fun cargos I, or chinos. I think that's a really good look. And then on to the next outfit would be this striped pale maroon and white button up shirt underneath a green crew neck that has some drop shoulders on it. And then on bottom, he has those slim stone washed blue jeans with those boots again. Now, um, this definitely has some nice stacking on it. Uh, if you don't know what stacking is, click the little link that's in the corner or whatever to find out what stacking and puddling is. The third outfit that I love is this red knitted sweater with those olive cargos again, or chinos. And again, very festive, you know, nothing, nothing too fancy. Kevin has a really good look for something when you want to dress up, but you don't want to be too dressy, something in the middle. And I think he has really strong outfits for events like that. Now moving on to the wet bandits. I mean, these guys are bangers. I'm not the only one to say this, but the wet bandits are style icons. I mean, their faces should come up when you look up the word normcore because they're normcore gods in my opinion. A, like, first off, before we get into the outfits, the wet bandits, they know how to layer. Marv can be seen wearing his striped suiting pants or a, like a pair of dark gray or black suiting pants and his brown coat with his corduroy collar flipped up. That is always a good look. I'm, oh, I, I love when I see a, a nice overcoat uh, with a collar popped up. To me, it's such a nice detail. And then underneath that, he's seen wearing multiple cardigans laid on top of each other or a printed button up on, with, under, a, under a vest. And he's always layering like t-shirts, button ups, vests, cardigans with his coat because it's Chicago in the middle of the winter, so it's very cold out there, so you have to layer up. But Marv does it so well. Now as an accent piece, Marv is always seen wearing his fingerless gloves, which is such a fit. I mean, it's such a nice touch to his outfit. Most people I see wearing fingerless gloves are assholes, but Marv pulls it off so well. 
And all these pieces, they look like they were just thrown together, which, I mean, that is the whole idea that they are thrown together, but it looks so perfect together. Now, Harry is seen in this amazing notched collar overcoat that is this gray tweed fabric and has these flecks of white in it that just pops. And it and he has more of this like structured suiting pant and then underneath his coat, he has no short of collared shirts to pair with his fit and an amazing notched collar vest in this like, I think it's a nails head print I love it. I think it's really nice. I think it's really strong looking. It's a, a nice brown tan colorway which pops when wearing that gray coat. And for Harry, his accessories is his long wool scarf and his fisherman beanie, which everybody knows. The fisherman beanie has been a thing for the past few years now. Might be sort of going out of style a little bit now, but Marv was the one to get it going. For me, what makes these guys style icons is the color palette they're wearing. A lot of neutrals, a lot of grays, a lot of beiges. Their silhouettes are really nice. It's very, their, their pants are very straight-legged. Their jacket's very oversized, very roomy, very late 80s, 90s. And the layering is insane in my opinion. The shirts mixed with the, the cardigans and the vests, the coats, just layer on top of layer on top of layer. It just looks very effortlessly, which I think uh, is why it looks so good. And it's not meant to be super, super fashion forward or fashionable, but it makes it look more authentic in my opinion. Well, that is going to conclude this video. I know this was a short one, but I wanted to get it out for the holidays because, you know, Christmas around the corner, it's winter time, all that fun stuff. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my social media. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.